So welcome to uh, Trevara Sidings for this update for June um, and let's start with a new arrival so I've got this uh, Lionheart Mark 1 coach that's arrived and uh, it's got lights and everything in it it's really cool and, uh, really impressed with the detail that's uh, that's inside this so might have to get a few more of these even though I don't have a long running line these are just uh, stunning models which I'm uh, I'm really pleased with and uh, I spent a lot of time on uh, on these going to school every day doing my homework throwing light bulbs out the window yeah, very, uh, very, very, very nice piece of kit. The month was spent uh, doing some um, weathering, really, of some wagons that was uh, long overdue. So this one, um, I haven't put the decals on yet, but this is going to be a stores wagon. So again, individual planks painted. Really quite pleased with how that's uh, come out did do this war well as well, I think that was last month so I don't know if I updated last time but nice and uh, worn oil spills etc all making it look pretty funky I spent quite a bit of time on uh, this unusual GWR brake van again as you can see individual planks uh, have been painted so this is with acrylics and then a panel line wash for the gaps in the panels and uh, an overall wash, oil wash as well. And I think that's come out uh, come out quite nice. I didn't actually build this one. This was um, one that uh, I purchased from somebody else. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased to have uh, I've got this looking a bit more. Uh, like it's actually been used in its life. I did complete this Simperin uh, 08 Shunter 08645 so there's a separate video that I've uploaded on that one so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time talking about that in fact I'm not going to spend any time talking about that so um, so go uh, see the other video and uh, check out how I uh, how I did this. Uh, I did have a scale model scenery a couple of skips arrived so I've just uh, started to put those together first uh, bit of paint on there and I uh, also got some of these uh, stillages as well so built three of them haven't painted them yet but uh, that's the next job on the list but uh, again you see these all around the uh, locomotive depots depots so uh, yeah I thought I'd try out a few fill them with some stuff and uh, make it look a bit lived in I did order some figures from uh, Model U, so I got their. Uh, if I can focus on this, got their uh, Vandal pack. So I'll talk about that in a minute in terms of what that uh, looks like. And this guy's having a few beers. Moon here. I love the Model U figures, they're, uh, they're really well detailed. There's a policeman taking down some notes. As you can see, I've primed these in black uh, and then uh, some zenithal highlighting from where the light's going to come, which is, uh, as you've seen before, generally from above. And uh, also got this guy sitting down, so. Again, a few things to to paint, and uh, so why did I get these uh, these figures? Actually, I got the figures to go with these uh, scale model sceneries, uh, concrete bus shelters. So these are so much more characterful than the uh, the more modern ones, and you still see some of these around, but not so many anymore. And um, just precast concrete. Um, so as you can see, off. Uh, done some primer on this and, and uh, whether it stuck some uh, acetate for uh, windows 
And this one's got a, a bench and the second one uh, hasn't got a bench but um, yeah these will go on the uh, scale model scenery's uh, sidewalks which I've got here so uh, my plan is to have uh, the vandals creating some uh, some havoc and again just a little point of interest on, on Newton Park Road here so more modern but on Trafar there wasn't uh, graffiti back back in the day and as you can see I've just weathered this a little bit with a damp at the bottom so yes yeah, so I'm going to enjoy making a little cameo scene uh, with those uh, those two from scale model scenery I also ordered some more uh, railway laser lines uh, concrete fencing so uh, I haven't got to that just yet but uh, I'll be uh, doing some more of that and I have ordered some more buildings from scale model scenery so I'll hopefully be able to show you those in uh, the next uh, video finally I guess I've just ordered a couple of these uh, torches little pen torches and uh, I'll be putting some uh, wire on the uh, on the ends of these for uh, uncoupling and coupling because uh, obviously using three link couplings um, these are really handy to uh, get in there to uh, to actually see what you're doing particularly when your old eyes are as old as mine are anyway that's it so uh, yet again not a whole lot has been uh, been done but you know the weathering stuff I, I really enjoy that obviously um, takes a bit of time to, uh, to, 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 to get these things done but uh, I do enjoy doing the uh, doing the painting. Got some more of the buffer stops, so um, those are going to go down the other end, down there behind the uh, behind the sheds, so uh, to stop the trains running off the uh, off the end. And I think that's about it. So uh, hope you uh, are all getting some uh, modelling done. Uh, we've had quite a bit of rain here uh, recently so um, maybe I'll get some more uh, more stuff done over this next month but uh, as usual I'm not uh, going to promise anything anyway uh, stay safe, enjoy your modelling and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next update cheers